Mmm. Good morning from sunny Manchester. There's honestly, there's not a cloud in the sky this morning in Manchester. It's Monday after a great pop-up. We're gonna probably train, if I if I dare say, one of my favorite fitness people, probably top three fitness inspirations on the planet. Mr. Ryan Terry. Ryan, uh, Ryan and I go way back. We've actually never competed against each other, but I've always been a fan of Ryan, his physique. Back in the day, uh, I think there's a video where I'm a pro and I'm showing him how to pose. And uh, it's just, we, we go way back and, and honestly, I, I cannot wait for him to step on stage at the Olympia this year. He's about, he's nine weeks out. He's looking great already. So we're gonna come in here today. We're gonna train shoulders here. We're at Frontline Fit Performance. That's where we're at today. So we're gonna get in there. Um, I'm a little dehydrated. Long weekend standing on your feet. So we're gonna get in there, sweat, shoulders, just get an awesome pump with one of, honestly, not just my favorite physique competitors, men's physique competitors, one of my favorite people in the fitness industry. Such a great guy. You guys are gonna go, you probably already know who he is. If not, subscribe to his channel. We're gonna be filming on his as well. One of my favorite warm-ups that I used to do back in the day in high school. Five presses, five upright rows, five power cleans, five shrugs. That's gonna be our warm-up. We got shoulders today. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, feels good. Ryan's first time in a rack. How do you do that? My first time in a rack too. Upright row, power clean, press, and then shrug. something I don't normally do anything like clean and press so that's why I was asking Steve about his grip um, because I, I typically have my thumb over a bit more relaxed grip but with that sort of exercise you can't you need to hold the bar a lot more so yeah it was nice definitely warm on all three parts of the head Arnold press or we do Scott's press Scott press is like you stop here Arnold you come up here Scott press would be like just here like here the biggest thing on a Scott press is like you're, you're finishing out here so maybe and your pinky's out. maybe you're uh, I say, maybe the Scott press is more of like the one that would hurt you. Actually, you finish it like behind. Uh, seated. Okay. So we're we jumping in to an Arnold press. Arnold press. We're literally going to be supinated to the point where we're touching, coming up, and as we come up, really we're forcing the shoulders wide. I don't want to just go here. We're forcing the shoulders wide, finishing above your head, pinkies higher. So we got 10 to 12 reps. Um, I'm gonna do four sets, not including that warm up. 
Um, so we did one warm up, one working set. We're now into our second working set. We want to have a kid that's super athletic. Get him in for those. Oh, athletic but aesthetic too. Yeah. Swimming develops a big back. Look at this guy's back. Look at this guy's back right now. It's a great back. That's from swimming. Well, I'm. I think it's the, the basis of a good back. And then gymnastics, obviously, a lot of shoulders, a lot of core. Oh, cool, yeah. He definitely has that. And then football. Okay, legs. Yeah? You got good legs. <laughs> no, so you want to go? We'll go four or five working sets. Ten to twelve. This one? Is that what you've been doing? Tell it, and then we can do more volume on the next right. exercise. versus here, yeah. it's just like you said, controlling the weight, having to yeah. stabilize those little muscles. Yeah. From the play. I think for me though, I've always been scared of doing the Arnold pressing, but just like rotation, because gotcha. so many people get injured from it. Gotcha. So it's always scared me, but as long as you're doing it nice and controlled, good movement. Yeah. I very rarely do anything these days that I feel like I'm just jerking and throwing weight up. I'm more like, subscribe to I think like the old like Frank Zane style training now, which is a lot less hard on your joints. Yeah. Think, Frank Zane never really went super heavy. Yeah, and I think for me, we, me and Ross was talking about this yesterday. I come in and however I'm feeling on the days, that's yeah. how I'll train. So yeah. if I'm feeling strong, I'll increase the weight. Yeah. If I'm not, I'll be sensible and listen that I'm not gonna get injured, so I'll do more volume, super sets. Yeah, like more instinctive training. Yeah, very sporadic. And you've been, I mean, you've been training though know, for 15, 16 years. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that when, when you know your body as well as Ryan knows his. So, so, so walk me through this one. So we're going to do a dumbbell ascending set. We're going to get three dumbbells. Yep. We're going to go for 15, 12, 10 reps. Okay. So we're going to increase the uh, weight, decrease. 15, 12, 10. Yeah. It's a lot of volume. And then we're going to go into partial. So eight reps, heavy weight, keep the weight from the body. So right. the dumbbell's not allowed to touch your waist. Keeping your traps down, which will mean you can't go. So is that with the last weight that we're doing? Yeah. So 15, 12, 10, and then with that last weight of, and then eight. Okay. All right, I'm gonna follow you here. I'm excited for this. I need, I need more of that side delt. I need more of that lateral. So this is, this is gonna be a good one. Look at, look at Ryan here. Stand up. Woo! Got some great shoulders. It's gonna be torture. I like this. This is gonna, this is gonna burn just a little bit.
just you know, violent swinging. It was just enough momentum to start it, and then you're finishing it out there. goosebumps as he's training because you know he's going to that place mentally that you need to, to you know it's, you need to put it up another gear look at that a boy come on that a boy yeah you know we saw that i love that <laughs> I love it. it's almost like you gotta dig deeper when you gotta dig deeper you gotta do some shit you gotta you gotta find your reason why why are you training like this that'll give you goosebumps it's giving me goosebumps right now let's go let's go If you can go to a place that just demands your body, because obviously what's happening there, it's a physiological reaction to what's going on. Your body, you are fight or flight. Ryan is literally inducing this state of like, blood is being rushed to extremities, and you can see it. It's, it's just, man, you can physically see it. So, last set here, I'm getting hammered. Come on. Yes, sir. boy. Exercise. It's done me in like that. That was good. And it's, you wouldn't think such a small muscle group right there, but definitely burns. Next up, we're using this is a nice bench for a, a rear delt movement. So we're gonna be doing dumbbell with a, a rear delt fly, making sure we're leaning the chest over, coming straight out. Oh, <laughs> shoulders are already sore. This will be good. And we're supersetting it with a little shrug. Ryan's gonna show us a shrug right here. We gotta search for the heaviest weight we have in here.
Uh, so this is uh, an exercise I learned off Nathan from uh, Australia. And this is either a good starter or finisher. So a pre-exhaustion or a great finisher on a shoulder workout. So effectively it's a six way raise. I'm gonna do a side lateral raise to a front, up, raise up, back down. That's a six way raise. So we're gonna keep our core tight the whole time. And that's what people don't take into account. It's all about keeping your core tight. Strong, using just your shoulders. Using just your shoulders. So pretty much into the movement and then back out the same way you came into it, just reverse. Oh, this is gonna be, I'm still sore from that damn Ninja Warrior day. I've got to admit, I normally do this at the start of the session, so this could oh, be, wow. uh, go drastic. You normally do five. I normally do eight, okay. so we're gonna go a bit less. Okay. prison push-up so it's a push-up so we're hitting some, some some front delt obviously triceps and chest pop up to a reverse jumping jack we start at one and we work our way up to ten same type movement here hitting the shoulder hitting an anterior delt hitting the side delt this is just uh, staying in it But again, that's the core. Yeah. I want to start moving and swaying a little bit. Activate 
Sweet thing, do my thing, no one do not do speaking. Get my shot pointed out like Ruth, man. I'm a winner's bitch and I got a moose sway. I'm the winner's bitch. My shoulder working like that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Shut off a little farmer carry on a Monday, Monday morning. Monday morning yeah. after a gym shark event. That's how you start the week off right. I'll tell you, that was pretty good. One of these days I'm going to have to come up to where you live. Yes. And have like the full, the full experience. Definitely. Ryan and Terry, you see the house, the dog. Yeah. More than welcome. I'm going to say obviously anyone wants to come back to Utah as well. So oh, we're, we're definitely going to make this right. happen in fitness culture again. So you're nine weeks out right now. Yeah, yeah. You were nice. telling me kind of about the, the process. You've had obviously a lot going on right now. How do you feel this year with everything? I know there's a lot of people out there saying, and Ryan's been through a lot. Are you, I feel like this is your best physique. You think? Yeah, I feel like you're just, you're thicker. Like you got a yeah. lot more dimension to you. Yeah, it's mixed emotions with me because obviously I am a bit fuller at this stage. Um, it was weird because obviously having six months away from the gym, that mentally was quite hard for me. Yeah. yeah I lost a lot of weight. So it was kind of this, the the latter part of this year has been about trying to uh, to catch up, trying to get right. back the, the weight back on and stuff. So a lot of people have said that I should have probably had a year out and come back next yeah. year. Um, for me, I'm a competitor yeah. and obviously being qualified for the biggest show in the world in India and not doing it would kill me. It'd be hard to sit on the sidelines. Yeah, I think when I found out that it was going to be on the main stage this year, obviously ah, mentally. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were getting Jeez. credit this year, so I thought I don't want to be to miss that. Like, yeah. Like, just okay. but obviously, I've got to get in the top five to be on that stage. It's only the finals, but I have a feeling you want I really hope so. Thank you. So it's been a rough a roller coaster of year. I wouldn't say rough year, a roller coaster. Well, and that's the thing. There's so many people out there. I, I get messages, and I'm sure you get tons of messages asking, like, you know, with my lower back, like, how do you deal around that? You, you've obviously dealt with on a much bigger scale having to stay away from the gym as long as you did. What do you tell people now that come to you and say, hey, I'm dealing with this injury? What do you tell people? I would say listen to your body. Definitely, yeah. 100%. I, I tried to rush back too soon, hence the second operation a few months later. Um, I would listen to the body. when Now that I'm training, I have to be very sensible in how I'm training. Yeah. So I can still really push myself. I just have to let the male ego go when I came to the gym. Like just, farmer carries. Like farmer carries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like them. Um, but no, it's just being sensible and working within myself. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's that mind to muscle connection rather than just max weight. So right. That's how I train now. Um, but it's amazing. You're, you're training. I can see it. I can see that, you know, even after, how many Olympias now have you done? Four, this will be my fifth. I, I can, see, you know, if, like like me, when I when I left competing, I knew it was like, I, I, I didn't have that passion for it. Seeing you today in there, getting those goosebumps, man, it's inspiring. And I also think it shows that if anything, like you're in a good place mentally because you're able to put everything into your training. Yeah. You know, you do a good yeah. job. You're not on your phone. You come in and you're here. I, I've got to admit, I'm, I'm a bit old school when it comes to that. I'm learning, yeah. obviously, I'm trying to get content because a lot of you guys are, are asking that they want to see yeah. I've, I've been brought up in a, in a way like an old school body yeah. way, where we weren't allowed to in the gym. We don't speak or talk or the gym. It was literally balls to the wall. You rest while you're spotting your, your yeah. partner. And obviously that isn't the way of the world anymore. Dude. It's hard to, to balance the yeah. social media aspect. Yes. Because I think on one hand we have some Gymshark you know, younger guys, David. Yeah. You know, I think his workouts are more. He's, he's you know he's super strong and obviously he looks amazing. But every workout is okay. Hey, where's the good lighting at? We're gonna shoot here. Yes. You know, yeah. you're you're here to, to, to work school. first and then yeah. the social media second. And I think we, we talked on it earlier where for me it's my, my training is very sporadic, it's how I feel on the day. Yeah. And for me it's just literally keeping the enjoyment there. So there's no method to it, there's no structure, it's literally like I would say balls to the wall, yeah. leave nothing left. And like we've done today was good. Yeah, we we hit our peak and then we start to drop over again. To be fair, I feel like that was the best training session I've had in a while in terms of like I was into it, I was feeling yeah, yeah. it. So cool. I think that was probably because of you. So thank you. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you guys. All right, you guys for watching on my channel, go check out Ryan's and we're gonna just link it in here. Um, he's gonna be putting up videos throughout this entire prep. So go check him out, support him on his journey. And if I if I can be in Vegas that weekend, we'll come down and, and support you, man. Because uh, I, I really, 
crossing our fingers. I feel like Ryan is just, if it was up to me, he'd, be, he'd have already been Mr. Olympia. Oh, um, so hopefully the judges feel that way too. Fingers crossed, guys. Do you want to do one for yours too? No. No. <laughs> Did you get that? Because that was quite a good one. All right. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Very good. Cool. Yeah. This one mine? Which bag's that? That's mine. That one attended earlier. No, no. Definitely don't. Yeah, that's I would say if you need some. Steve, yeah. if you do need some powder, yeah. I'm going to eat. I'm actually eat. I'm just going to eat, eat. I enjoyed that. Thank you. That was good. Thank you, guys.